its two coal-fired steam trains take thousands of visitors around the Tennessee theme park, driven by a team of seven engineers. Only one of those engineers is a woman. There's never been another female engineer, so that title's pretty. I'm pretty proud of that. For eight years, Julia Collins and her team have been tasked with managing these World War II era steam trains. She told WVLT that it was love at first sight. I walked right down the train and I'm like, I am in love with this giant piece of metal. I begged and pleaded and, and, and was a nuisance and wouldn't stop till they finally said, okay, you can train as a fireman. And after you train as a fireman, you can enroll into the engineer program here. And you know, you have to have your time in for a fireman and we've done that and, and I loved it. I, I fell in love with it. Before Collins drove 10 to 15 five mile loops around Dollywood each day, her career was on a different track. I'm a neurodiagnostic technologist. The trains, nicknamed Klondike Katie and Cinderella, once served the Army. Replacement parts are hard to come by and often have to be made on site. You don't see a lot of coal-fired steam engines anymore. Uh, they are very rare. I think these two that we run here are, are one of a handful in, you know, around. Days are long and hot, and the work to maintain more than 80-year-old trains can be grueling, but Collins says it's all worth it. You have to have the passion for it, the love for it, and it all falls into place after that. This is Inside Edition Digital.